Alright guys, it's me again with another LDD tutorial, this one being number 3. I don't know how long the series is going to be by the way, so just bear with me. But um, as you're looking at right here, this is a um, AUG, and many of you have probably already noticed that the uh, barrel is a little bit long. And that's because it's a light machine gun version of the AUG that Steyr makes. But you don't need to know any of that, that's pointless, that's just gibberish to people who don't know guns but um basically what I'm doing is adding on certain parts to here and certain parts over here and then uh, I have to make this fold upwards this way and then I have to put a um, bipod on the front here but all of that is basically stuff that you guys don't need to know about it until like you start doing stuff like this anyhow we're gonna start a new model we're gonna extend out our brick pallet and I just hit the exit button oh hit paint by accident again see do 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 just gonna wait for this to load. I'm probably really pissed off. Anyhow, um, so yeah, we're gonna start building today, as I've said before. So, you got your brick pallet, and you have an idea of what you want to build. And I guarantee you, that idea is either a car or a building of some sort. If it isn't, then this tutorial doesn't apply to you. And it's kind of pointless for me to be, for you guys to be watching this. But for me, it's pretty um, important. Uh, so if you want to build a car, there are probably a few features that you want to add. Such as um, actual steering and such. So um, this one's going to be a tutorial on how to do steering and certain building methods. Okay, so what I've thrown down here is a 1x16x1 with all the holes in it. And I'm going to use the duplicate tool to duplicate that so then I don't have to go digging back through the brick pallet. And if you go digging back through the brick pallet, you probably risk choosing the wrong one and then you have the wrong size and it takes longer to do what you want to do. So yeah. And what I've done here is I've added these 2x4x... point. I don't know, but they're flats and they're 2x4, and that's just to keep this so that it stays together and it doesn't like spread apart in different angles whenever we go to move it. <coughs> so what I'm going to show to you is how to do movable steering in LDD the correct way. There are many, many different ways you can do movable steering, but there's correct ways and then there are wrong ways, or I guess they're not considered wrong. But they're just, um, they're just, uh, what's it called, jerry-rigged ways to do it. So you're going to come down here, and you're going to find a piece that looks like this. It's got two holes in it. It kind of looks like where one of those winches would go. And you're going to stick it into the side of the thing with holes. Then you're going to come back up in the brick pallet, and you're going to find a little brick that looks somewhat like this. It's got to have this groove on it, otherwise it's not going to work. And then I'm going to rotate it so that it flips within here. And again, use the duplicate tool to just duplicate it over to there. And then in your brick pallet, you're going to find these pieces. Or one side's the, um, the cross axle piece and the other is just the selector piece. So that it fits within those. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wrong thing, duplicated. So then you set that within there. Right? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Then you're going to take one of these pieces and you're going to place it in the hole right here and then the hole on the other side over there so that it goes right in there. So basically your setup looks like this. And this can be done in any size as long as the pieces that are listed within the gear section is... Da, 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 da. I think this one's an 8. So then you get one of these pieces. 
the, one of these pieces and you cross it over so that it connects the two um, sway bars together. All right. I hope you guys are following along because if you aren't, you're probably going to get lost and you're not going to know what to do. <sighs> uh, then you come down, select an attire. In case you guys haven't noticed already, LDD uh, sets its brakes up so that it's all based off of size. It goes from smallest to largest and that applies to every single brick. Just in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm pretty sure you have because it didn't take me that long to figure it out. But yeah. So yeah, this is a movable steering um, setup right here. Now then, I don't really know. There it goes. See? If it goes this way, go this way. It actually turns. Okay? That's the whole point. And then, to fully complete the system so that it actually works with the steering wheel, what you're going to do is you're going to take a gear and you're actually going to put it on here and you're going to take an axle, axle and go this way and then you're going to put a steering wheel on the end of it so that whenever you turn it the gear turns the wheels. That makes sense guys. Hope it does otherwise you're not going to lose it. So I'm going to highlight all the um, parts, the critical parts to the um, installation of this and this bright silver color. So yeah this is the main body of the um, steering and then these are just the wheels these are wheels this is the frame of the car so yeah that's a basic tutorial on how to use that type of steering uh, there's a different way that I've found that you can do steering that's way more complicated than this but if you don't have these pieces with you then it's a lot easier to do it the way I did it and I'll probably do a different tutorial on that um i will save this just for the heck of saving it just in case i need it for future reference uh, shift steering shift tutorial enter okay uh, file open i'm gonna open you guys an example of what i've done and da, 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 da. sorry if this takes a while, by the way. But you know, but yeah, here's something that I've done that uses the movable, um, the movable steering, in the front and the back. As you can tell, I really suck at designing cars, but I don't really care because I was just going for the movable steering part in front and back. So yeah, that, this is basically all that I've built that's using the same front and steering thing that you just, front and back steering system that you guys just saw me build. I hope this video helped you out with building a uh, movable steering system. If it didn't, comment rate, uh, not just comment in the links below and I'll see if I can help you guys out a little bit more with another video. Sorry, I had to turn my head to cough a little. So yeah, remember, if you want to see videos like this one, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will give you more videos like this one. Thank you.